Number 21, with 2.56 times 10 to the 6 joules of heat transfer into this engine, a given cyclical heat engine can only do 1.5 times 10 to the 5 joules of work. Letter A, what is the engine's efficiency? So whenever you're talking about a cyclical engine and we're talking about efficiency, it's the formula over here on the right-hand side. It tells us that the efficiency will be equal to the work done by the engine divided by the heat of the hot reservoir, okay? And the heat of the hot reservoir is basically the heat transferred into this engine, okay? So anytime you hear this heat transferred into the engine, you're always going to think about that as Q sub H. So simply, we just have to find the ratio here, essentially. Right? The amount of work done by the engine... 1.5 times 10 to the 5 joules, divided by then the energy supplied, the total energy supplied to that engine, which was 2.56 times 10 to the 6th, essentially. And lo and behold, let's calculate it. So 1.5 uh, times 10 to the 5th divided by 2.56 times 10 to the 6th. And we get a value of about 0 0.0586. You can convert that into percent if you need, be about 5.86%. So that takes care of letter A. And letter B now, it says, how much heat transfer to the environment takes place? So that's basically the heat uh, given off into the cold reservoir, so to speak. All right. So now, uh, again, with a cyclical process, whoops, not that one. We're looking at this formula over here. So it says that the work done by an engine is equal to then the difference, basically, in heat of the hot reservoir from that of the cold reservoir. Just plug in the absolute values here. Nope, the negative sign is already there. So basically we want to find the Q sub C. So Q sub C will then be equal to uh, Q sub H minus then the work. So Q sub C will be equal to, uh, we have 2.56 times 10 to the sixth joules minus then the work, which was 1.50 times 10 to the fifth. And what do we get? Let's see. So we get 2.56 times 10 to the sixth minus 1.5 times 10 to the fifth. And here we go, about 2.41. So 2.41 times 10, and that should be raised to the uh, sixth. And that is in terms of joules. All right. And that takes care of that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Fairly simple. Um, so, yeah, subscribe if you can. And if you could tell your friends, even better. Thanks so much. Take care.